Welcome to Tech Assembler and in this tutorial we will be discussing about iron toolbar. So how we can place the header. Basically iron toolbar is for the header or the footer. You can place iron toolbar and inside iron toolbar you can have icons, text like you can see on the screen the side three dots that is more option plus you can have segments and many more things that we will be discussing in this tutorial. So let's begin application and here you can see nothing because we don't have any HTML element in our toolbar dot page dot HTML so this is a blank page I have deleted all the default HTML templates and now we simply going to use the toolbar so for this I use this toolbar template so this toolbar includes you can say the iron title by default so this is the default uh, what you see in your ANIC uh, page header so it is included in header okay so you can place it anywhere in iron content or iron footer so just uh, iron toolbar so let's see how it looks and this is how it looks okay so I just replace the text to toolbar okay so i toolbar okay so but uh, then if you have some text over here so definitely you have to put this in iron header okay so this is how the iron header looks so it will have the toolbar or you can have multiple toolbar inside iron header so if you want a multiple toolbar so let's make it like this and let's see how it looks so and this header one more thing it has that bottom border okay so that's why we can easily identify in the HTML so and this is how it looks this is the toolbar one and toolbar and this is the second one which we have included in our and so you can place it in like uh, footer so I just type here and content and below that I will have an footer so it's you can say the standard way so how you can include the footer so we have the content or you can say the body and this is the header this is the footer okay so this is how the iron template identify between header the middle portion is the body and the bottom is the footer okay so this is or I can just type here the footer and toolbar footer okay so it will be easy to identify okay and in middle we can have the multiple text so I will just use this dummy text over here in middle so for that I will use iron text okay so with the primary color and let's have it okay if it doesn't fit then we have to include one more iron text okay fine so I just have few more sorry what's happening okay okay secondary and then we can have dark okay so these are the default colors which you can generally have an iron text or anywhere in any of these so this is how it looks this is the header and this is the footer okay so you can have the toolbar both both of them in header and in footer so what else can we do in this toolbar okay so I just delete this one toolbar and for now I just comment out this footer okay and let's have something else so if I want some button over here so where we can give the buttons so we definitely have to give the button inside this toolbar okay so I will just use the buttons okay so this is the buttons array okay Mm. 
as i have already discussed about the buttons in my previous tutorial so you can go through and check out what these templates and how we can use so this is the uh, simple way uh, we have the buttons iron buttons container and inside that we have the iron button so you can have multiple buttons inside it okay and let's see how it looks and this is how it shows the click me because i have just given the text over here so i just use this icon only okay for okay i will just delete this so i will use buttons with icon only fine so or you can say the home the icon should be of home okay perfect so this is how it looks so if you want this button to be at the start so you can give like this or you want it to be half at the end and so you can give like this okay uh, and if you want to have some other buttons also inside that so you can have like this way so just button one and this is button two okay so let let me change pen or we have trash we have something like this in ion icons let's see how it will refresh in a moment i think but it is loaded okay perfect so this is the way you can have multiple icons uh, over here inside the toolbar or you can say the more that the three dots that you generally see in most of the applications but it is not visible so i need to check uh, what's the name of that icon over here okay so this is the way you can have the title or the buttons in your toolbar okay the other thing that what we can have is that i just comment it out okay so that we could still remember that we are having this and we can have the button in the solid states also okay so let's have button with icon okay so this is the another way you can have the buttons in the toolbar okay it has having some error okay 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 because we have just commented it out also you just place it over here okay so this is the way you can have the button with the click me text also and you can have in the button what you can have the fill fill equals to solid so solid solids okay so with the state i think it's not reloading in many of the times okay so this is the way you can have or you can just change the color a to the some other color uh, that I will do for you okay so you can have color like this or you can have then many more things like you have two buttons over here or this button should go to the start start off uh, means by customizing the HTML or you if you are using your own html means you are just positioning your html instead of that you can just simply use these buttons or the default templates which ionic have given so it could be very easy to just place these icons and it will be auto adjust in all the devices like uh, if i just go to the ios device 
so let me see that it is already in its design the same way we can use with the android also okay and the few more things which i have just commented out over here i will use and describe the same for you let me just okay it's very big html so mm, okay so i will just release these html Okay, and just paste it okay so you can have the look over it okay so these are the things what we actually can do so this is the back button which I'm gonna tell you so you can have the back button also so first I just comment out this section okay so this is the back button uh, because by default you will not get any back button in your uh, what you generate the page with the onyx cli so you have to uh, use this html to get the back button okay so because this page is set as the default home page so that's why it is not showing the back button and obviously it should not show the back button but when we move to next page and we want to come back from that page so we need to implement this HTML over there so I will just definitely going to tell you about that back button though you can have the title and you can have the size of this title to small or you can have the large okay sorry large title or this is the default title which you will see and then you can have the buttons as i already told you this is the slot you can give the secondary okay so let's see so this is the large text and this is the default text and uh, there are not much difference and this is the default buttons and you can have the many icons as the last thing which uh, is left behind is when you go to the next page and you want in that back button so how you can do so this is uh, the uh, button a uh, dummy button which I have to move to the dashboard page and this is my dashboard page over here and I'm moving from on toolbar to dashboard page so let's see so when I click this button so I'm on dashboard page but uh, we don't have any back button over here okay to see the back button so what we need to do in the dashboard page or you can see the over here board okay and for the back button i simply use and back button template and this you can position it every anywhere like on a start definitely we need it at the start so how it looks so let me just refresh it once again from the very beginning so by default the toolbar page is loaded and when I click on click me so it goes to dashboard and we have this back button why we have this back button because we have implemented this iron backs back button template okay so you can just position it anywhere start end or anywhere okay and you can have your custom text like uh, we don't have any text over here so you can just give the text by giving the property text equals to back okay and you can have the icon also so for the icon i will use so anything add or the icons which you want to use over here so you can use okay so just let me go back again to the home page and when i go so we can have this uh, you can say the back arrow for the back arrow you can say the arrow backward i think this is the name of the icon switch uh, anic team has implemented so again whenever you are default loaded to this dashboard page you don't see any back button over here i think i have just misspelled the button name so okay no because i haven't saved that one and 
this back arrow so I think I have just misspelled the back arrow so actually the name is chevron back outline okay so whenever I just go to the default app or I just navigate to the dashboard so it gives me this back arrow and if you don't give this icon or this text so you will simply sorry you will simply receive a back arrow which is default provided by the back icon so this is the back arrow you will see okay so this is the way you can customize your back button or your toolbar and the iron header or anywhere in the iron content or iron footer so this is all about iron toolbar thank you thank you for watching the video please hit the subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon for more updates